Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna talk about HTTP connections in Java. And uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how you do it today with pure Java and also an incubation project in the uh, Java 9 modules that actually does the same thing, but much easier. So we're gonna talk about that. But we start with the first example, which is how you do it today. Uh, if you're not using anything else than pure Java, if you have a library, then this will look totally different. But if you want to do a get recall in uh, pure Java, you create a URL object. And this is pretty much everything in one object. It creates a lot of things. And then you say that you want to go to specific URL. So you will create this object. And from this, you can open a connection. And this connection could be an HTTP connection, an HTTPS connection, and so on, depending on, on your needs and depending on what kind of URL you're opening. And then you can set some uh, extra parameters to this. I set the uh, get request uh, method so it knows what kind of call it should do. And then I do a connection get response code. So I get the code what, how did this uh, connection go? How uh, did the interaction actually go with the server? And uh, in this case, I will get back 200. Uh, the connection was actually fine. I got to example.com and then I create my buffer reader with the input stream from the connection. So if you are doing a put request, you have an output stream to so stream some uh, data to the server and then you get an input stream so you get something back from the server. And in order to read this input stream, I create an input stream reader and I get uh, put that into a buffered reader so I can easily read one line at a time. And then I create the string buffer so I can bunch these lines together. If I want to use them for anything else than just output, this is a very good way to read them. Then I can do a parsing if it's XML data or HTML data and so on. And then I will create the string line. I will do a while loop where I read each line. I will append each line to this response um, string buffer and then it I append a string uh, termination as well. So the, a new line character after each input line. And then I will close this buffered reader. And down here you see that I print out the response code and also the two string. So if I run this little example, uh, I get a little error, but that was because one thing I was looking at. So don't mind that. Um, here we see I get response code 200 and then I get this example.com domain and this domain is uh, established to be used for illustrative examples in documents. You may use this domain uh, in examples without prior coordination or asking for permission. So it's a very good uh, domain if you just want to do some example and show off something. Um, and now we're gonna talk about how you do the same thing in Java 9, which is at the moment an incubation project. And in the incubation project, uh, if you haven't looked into the Apache Foundation and how they do their project or Eclipse Foundation, they also have incubation projects. And an incubation is something that is not fully baked. Uh, everything isn't there, all functionality isn't there, they haven't tested API fully, and uh, they don't really know if it will actually be this kind of an API. They are trying something out and get input back. And uh, But I think that this API that I've done so far is very interesting and even though it's an involving API, I think it has a lot of promise. Uh, now. So in order to use this, you need to create a module because we are in Java 9 and this module need uh, to require the JDK incubator HTTP client so we can use this HTTP client project. And when we come into my main method here, 
it's much simpler, a lot less code than the other one. We just create an HTTP client. We get a new HTTP client, so I have that. Then I will uh, create my request, uh, my HTTP request using a new builder. I give it a new URI, and then I say that I want to do a get method. And the example I found online actually said that you didn't need a get method. And this is something that actually changed during implementation. So if you don't specify get, you actually get an error code, a null pointer exception, because they are checking that each input uh, header it actually has a value. And if you don't set get, the method will actually be null. So this was something that I have to debug the actual uh, running on the code and find out that way that the method got a null pointer and that's why it didn't work. And then after that we build our HTTP request uh, and we send on our client, send our request and we uh, say that we want to use the res HTTP response uh, body handler as string. So we say that the body we want back, we want it as a string, nothing else. So this means that we can have a body handler that gives us JSON back or gives us some other kind of data back. So this is actually defining how we want the output of our call to be or the callback. Uh, of our call. And then we get this HTTP response object and here we see our body is a string. So this could be something else depending on what we define on this side. And we print our response code and we print the body that we get back. So if our HTTP response had some other body than string then this call will return another object. So I hope that's clear. So if we run this example, we will pretty much get the same output here. We get this uh, HTML body, we get the uh, response code 200, and we also get this warning. You are using an incubator module, the JDK incubator HTTP client, and you get that warning if you require the module. And this warning actually says that this is incomplete code is not tested and it will change in the future. Um, if you think this incubator object uh, or proposal is interesting, then please join the mailing list and talk about it there. And maybe they will have it in Java 9.1. Uh, they are releasing every six months now i think so i really hope that this will come in java 8.9.1 uh, um, in the next release because i think this is very useful and a very good api uh, i really like it um, please tell me what you think about this api do you like it is this something that you will use in your work um, i hope that you like this episode uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that, and I really hope to see you in the next episode.